we here one more Sunday morning to just worship the Lord and fellowship one with another. Praise the Lord Jesus. Praise God. We're going to be reading this morning from 1 Thessalonians 5, verses 1 to 24. Praise God. 1 Thessalonians 5, 1 to 24. And we're going to be reading alternately. Praise the Lord. I read, then you read. Amen. Praise God. I'll begin. But of the times and the seasons, brethren, ye have no need that I write unto you. For yourself know perfectly that the day of the Lord so cometh as a thief in the night. For when, for when they shall say, Peace and safety, then sudden destruction cometh upon them as travail upon a woman with child, and they shall not escape. But ye, brethren, are not in darkness, that the day should overtake you, brethren. Ye are all the children of the light, and the children of the day. We are not of the night, nor of darkness. Therefore let us not sleep as no others, but let us watch and be sober. For they that sleep, sleep in the night. And they that be drunken are drunken in the night. But let us work day to be sober, putting on the breastplate of faith and love, and for a the hopes of salvation. For God hath not appointed us to wrath, but to obtain salvation by our Lord Jesus Christ. Who died for us, that whether we wake or sleep, we should live together with him. Wherefore, comfort yourselves together. And edify one another, even as also do. And we beseech you, brethren, to know them which labor among you, and are over you in the Lord, and in the Holy And to esteem them very highly in love for their works' sake, and be at peace among themselves. Now, among we exhort you, brethren, warn them that are unruly, comfort the evil minded, support the weak, be patient for the Lord. See that none render evil for evil unto any man, but ever follow that which is good, both among yourselves and to all men. Pray without ceasing. Quench not the spirit. Prove all things, hold fast that which is good. God of peace sanctify you holy, and I pray God your whole spirit and soul and body be preserved blameless unto the coming of the Lord Jesus Christ. 24 together.
We thank you, God, for keeping us safe in this pandemic. We thank you, mighty God, for providing for us even when jobs are being lost. We thank you, Lord God, for providing, Lord God, even when things are scarce. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. And mighty God, today, as we're about to worship you and just give ourselves to you, God, we pray, God Almighty, that you will help us, Lord God, to give you the praise that we deserve. Help us, Lord God Almighty, to connect with your spirit. Lord God, that our spirit may give you the worship that you deserve. Lord Jesus, I pray, God, for those sick among us that you will heal. Deliver, Lord God Almighty. Open up our eyes that we may see, Lord God, what is going on around us. And that we will recognize that it's not the time to sit idly by, but it's the time to become a radical and fervent for you. Lord Jesus, I pray, God, that you will bless the one who is moderate, the one who will bring forth the word, Lord Jesus. We need a word. We need a word, God, Almighty, for this season. Bless the musicians, Lord God, Almighty, and the praise team, and all the saints that are in the house, and those, Lord Jesus, who will see this service afterwards. Bless the Lord Jesus Christ, I pray, God, that you just be a hedge around us like you were around Job, mighty God, and help us, Lord Jesus Christ, to stretch forth after you. We give you thanks one more time. In Jesus' name, amen. Praise the Lord Jesus. Praise the Lord Jesus. God is good. Amen. Praise the Lord. We're going to be singing this morning my favorite hymn, Great is the Lord, hymn 296. Praise the Lord Jesus. Great is the Lord. Praise God. Great is the Lord, the Prince of life and glory. Great is the Lord. Yeah. 
a great, big, wonderful God. This morning we're here to lift up and to magnify His precious name. I want to greet Pastor Brissett, Minister Johnson, members of the praise team, musicians, and all the saints and our visitor in the precious name of the Lord Jesus. We're just so happy to be among God's people, to be able to lift up His name, to give Him thanks for all that He has done. And more than all, we have come today just to show forth His praises, for He is worthy to be praised. I want for us just to focus on the Lord Jesus today, to lift our praises to Him. And I believe that as the praises go up, that the blessings are going to come down. Praise the name of the Lord Jesus. He has brought us a mighty long way and we have got many things to give him thanks for. We are grateful for the rains. Praise the name of the Lord Jesus. And we just want to thank the Lord that we have been receiving rain. And as we come today in the house of the Lord, we're believing God that there will be spiritual rain. God is going to pour out upon flesh today. And we are going to rejoice because of what the Lord has done. Praise the Lord Jesus. So let's just continue to worship the Lord in the beauty of holiness. Wherever I am, I'll praise Him. Whenever I can, I'll praise Him. For His love, for me like a sea. I'll praise the name of Jesus. The name of Jesus. For the name of Jesus.
Yeah. He's just a step in. 
that the Lord will anoint and speak through her. Thus say the Lord. I invite you to minister to us today at the anointing of the Holy Ghost. Our pastor, Pastor Babu, we sing in Jesus' name. Let's praise the Lord Jesus. And take nothing. 
But I'm not going there today. Amen. The Father has come to me and says, not good enough for God. Hallelujah. I'm not good enough for God. That's what I got. That's what leaped out at me. Praise the name of the Lord Jesus. I don't know who is in here today that is good enough for God. I don't know who. Amen. Hallelujah. We see in the scripture that people are hungry for the word of God. Bless the Lord. It was morning. Amen. But they came where Jesus was. Jesus stood by the lake yes. where the fishermen I mean come from sea as we would say yes. were washing their nets. Yes. That night they caught nothing. Yes. Mm. Jamaica, we say a fish pot trash trash. Yes. Amen. Life is like that. Yes. The Lord. Amen. You know what I'm talking about? Yes. yes, life is like that. You know, you sometimes toil hmm? day after day, probably turning to months. Years and you can show nothing for your toy. Amen. Nothing. Now, this experience leaves you feeling like a loser. But remember, Jesus is on the scene and can change everything. Praise the name of the Lord. We pray for the saints. Bless the Lord Jesus. Amen. Amen. Bless God. Now it was during this time of disappointment. Probably frustration. Hmm? For the fishermen. Amen. You imagine? Yeah. And Jesus chose that time to ask Peter to trust. Go a little. Leave the shore. Go a little. From the land. Hallelujah. Bless the Lord. Peter complied. There are times in our lives we don't want anybody to bother us. No husband, no wife, no children. We just want an alone time. And then somebody just comes back and cross your path. Yeah. Some of us get very cross. Yeah. But Peter, yeah. probably hungry, tired, disappointed, trust God a little. Yes. Amen. Praise the Lord. Jesus used Peter's boat. As a pulpit, I would say, and there was city. Yes. So he can actually sit and preach. Yes, God. Amen. Praise the Lord. Sit and teach. It doesn't matter your position. As long as you are in the word of the anointing of the Holy Ghost. The Lord. Peter did as he was asked. Amen. Hallelujah. You, we don't know how long Jesus taught for. Amen. Amen. We're not told that. Amen. But when he was finished, he said to Peter, launch out in the deep. Not just a little from the land now. Amen. You're going to go further. Amen. Launch out in the deep and let down your net for a draw. That's right. Jesus was specific. Praise the name of the Lord. When Jesus speaks to you, he doesn't leave you in the dark, he doesn't leave you wondering. He speaks to you in a way that you can understand. Praise the Lord. Launch out in the deep. Let down your nets Amen. for a draw. Yes, Lord. Peter's response was, we, hallelujah, have toiled Lord. all night. Amen. I've taken nothing. 
saying. Peter didn't stop there. Sometimes that's where we stop. And that's why we miss the miracle. Peter didn't stop there. Amen. Peter said, nevertheless, in spite of all the negatives. Hallelujah. Yes, that's what he said. I will. Yeah. It's a real step. I will let down the net. Yes, yes, yes. That's the Lord. Notice it was a personal decision. Yeah. He could not decide for the other members of his team. Yeah. But he knew yeah. what he wanted to do. Yeah. So he said, I will let down, let down the net. The net. Now, obedience to the Lord remains a personal decision. Bless the Lord. Amen. Not what the members of your family say. That's right. Not what your friends say. Amen. Bless God. Not what your boss says. Amen. It's your personal decision with God. Amen. Praise the Lord Jesus. Amen. Bless God. Praise the Lord Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Mm. Hallelujah. The Bible says the catch was so vast. Yeah. Huh? That they had to beckon. Yeah. They had to help us. Yes. Huh? Yes. To come and help. That's right. The Bible said both ships were so full. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. That they began to see. Oh. And I, I, I coined my own word. I said, it was blessing over me.
shouldn't be too hard on themselves. When they drift back to their own self. Why? Serving God is a process. Amen. Amen? That's the Lord. Yes. It's not a one-shot thing. Amen. Serving God is a process. Lord. Hallelujah. Remember, none of us is good enough for God. Amen. Jesus Christ came not to call the righteous but sinners unto repentance. Right. Amen. Mark spoke of it. Matthew spoke of it. Yes. Luke spoke of it. It's all there. Amen. Praise God. Praise the Lord. I once, I think, used the topic for a message. The unconverted disciple. Amen. That's Amen. Yeah. During Peter's discipleship, Jesus spoke of his conversion yeah. as a future event. Yes, yes, yes. When, oh. Yes. He's following Jesus and yeah. seeing all the miracles. Yeah. And probably assisting him in many ways. Yeah. Jesus spoke of his conversion yeah. as a future event. Well, Luke 22, 32. When thou art converted. Amen. Strengthen thy brethren. It is possible to be a member of the church group. I didn't say church now. The church group before I become a member of the body of Christ. Yes. Unconverted persons are found in the church choirs. You need that? They are found among the musicians. Probably in Sunday school teachers too. And they are found even in the pulpit. Preaching. Unconverted persons. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. Don't you need that? Paul in addressing the church in Galatia, and that's Galatians 4.19, he said, My little children, Amen. of whom I shall bear yes. in birth again, yes. until, until, until. until Christ yes. be formed in you. Develop and, and, and we think of the fetus, you know, where it started. We, call, we talk about the embryonic stage and you know, the development. Some of you didn't even know that when you start developing that tail. Uh, you know that? Yeah. There was a tail there. Yeah. Amen. Look it up. Yes, there was a tail there. Amen. But you lost that tail somehow. Lord. And the place where the table was is still there, the coxes. Oh, bless the Lord. <laughs> Amen. Went to biology you now. Oh, bless the Lord. Forgive me. Forgive me for that. Bless the Lord. Amen. Amen. But you develop. And so the fetus develops, it changes. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise God. At first there were no eyes and hands and, and feet. Amen. Nothing like that. And so it is. In the Christian pathway. Amen. But Christ is being formed in you. Yes. You change. Yes. Shall we praise the Lord yes. Jesus? Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. Ha. Now the call is out from Jesus to come as you are. Come as you are. Amen. That's the Lord. And allow Jesus to make you, Amen. to mold you, right. to fashion you Amen. into the person he wants you to be. You can do it. Now, like Peter, the sinful condition of a person can become a hindrance to them 
accepting Jesus. Their condition stands in their way. Amen. They feel dirty. They feel too far gone. They feel unworthy. Amen. But let me remind you that no man can make himself worthy of Jesus. Yes, the Lord. Huh? The centurion said, I'm not worthy. For you to come under my roof. Okay? Although I'm a big man in the army, I'm not worthy. Amen. Going back to Genesis, Adam and Eve tried to make themselves presentable and acceptable unto God. Yes. But even when they made their nice, fancy covering of leaves, yes. they were still hiding <laughs> and they considered themselves naked. Oh, mercy, mercy. Amen. Yes? Think yes. about it. They were naked and they were ashamed oh, to stand before God. Glory to God. But no one in this congregation or anywhere else is too far gone that cannot be saved. That's right. People say the violent the sinner, the richer, the blood. Amen. Amen. Glory to God. This is what redemption is all about. Amen. We see the cross beautifully redeemed. When my burden of sin was high, redeemed. When my soul condemned to die. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. That reminds us of our state. You are sitting here today and called saints of God. That chorus reminds us of our state. But we were redeemed. Bought back. And the scripture says, it's not a cover up to the things as silver or gold, but with the precious blood of Jesus. Hallelujah. First Peter 1 18 to 19. That's where it's from. Hallelujah. Having spent. A lot of years in the church. Amen. Hallelujah. Many, many years in the church. And I've been to several places, many conventions and all of that, local services. And I've seen people come under conviction who have failed to surrender. You will see the conviction in their faces. Yes. But they fail to surrender. Because of the things they want to fix up Amen. before they come to Jesus. I have things that I must fix. Amen. Many years have passed and they are still fixing. You remember like that? They are still fixing. Hallelujah. But the call is to come as you are. Let Jesus fix it. Yes. Amen. It's not really the ink that needs to be fixed, you know. But you, right. Hallelujah. When you are fixed, everything else will fall in place. That's right. So let Jesus fix you. Oh, Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory to God. The efforts to live for the Lord. Before you are saved, I mean, I must do it. I don't have to try. But I tried to live for the Lord before I was saved. So the efforts may be commendable. You start to dress like how Christians dress, and you, you read your Bible every day, and, and so on. Commendable. But it's nothing. But self righteousness, Isaiah 64 6, calls the kind of righteousness kills the rats. Amen. Amen. That's good for nothing, but to be cast away. Self 
righteousness cannot save you. Thank you. Thank you. Praise the Lord. Bless the Lord. Look at Jeremiah. Uh, now understanding from it, chapter 13, 23, that an Ethiopian, that means not a black person, Amen. people of color, then, cannot change his skin. Amen. Ethiopian cannot change his skin. Amen. And a leopard can't change his spots. Right. Amen. Only Jesus, Only Jesus can save the sinner. Yes. And make him worthy of acceptance. Right. Shall we praise the Lord, church? Bless the Lord. From the Jesus. I'm going to tell you today that repentance works. Amen. Hallelujah. Right. Amen. Yes. Baptism in the name of Jesus yes. washes away your sin. Amen. And the Holy Ghost. God sets his mark on you. Amen. You are sealed. You are mine. Yes. That's what works. Amen. Praise the Lord, church. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. The natural birth. Physical birth. You don't make you a Christian. We know that you must not understand. But it was told you must be born again. Amen. We were all born in sin, fashioned or shaped in iniquity. Paul, looking back on where the Lord has brought us from, said in 1 Corinthians 6 19 11, he said a lot of things. We're going to go through them timing. He said, Be not deceived. Yeah. Let nothing trick you. Yeah. Neither fornicators, yeah. nor idolaters, yeah. nor adulterers, yeah. nor effeminate. You know what that means? Yeah. Man that be a bad woman. Yeah. Effeminate. God made a distinction. Yeah. Hallelujah! Yeah. And we're going to keep that distinction clear. Men and females created in them. Amen. So if you're effeminate, you need to repent. Then talking about unisex clothes. I saw something the other day, you know, on the TV, and they're showing everything. Why a woman can't wear this and why a man can't wear that and this and the other. I'm not saying the clothes that makes it different. You already made different. Hallelujah. Amen. And God was very feminine. Nor abuse us of themselves with mankind, and that's broad. Nor thieves, nor covetous, nor drunkards, nor revilers, not regulars. This one is revilers, isn't it? Revilers is different. No rail of one back. Nor extortioners. You know what that means? Yes. Shall inherit the kingdom of God. Yes. But Paul didn't just want to spell out these things. Yes. He did that because there's a word for us. Yes. Hallelujah. Amen. We're going to say, and such yes. were some of you, yes. but you are washed. But he has sanctified, yes. but he has justified yes. in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ yes. and by the Spirit of our God. Yes, yes, yes. So some of you. Yes. Amen. Amen. Yes. Sinners, you know, yes. idolaters, adulterers, fornicators, teeth, everything. But you are washed. Thank God for the washing. Amen. Thank God for the justification of the Spirit. Yes. Amen. Bless the Lord. Thank you. Thank you. Bless the Lord. Thank you. Such were past things, not are. Those people are part of the kingdom of God. You were when you were.
are in sin. But now, you are a new creature in Christ Jesus. All things are passed away. And behold, all things are new. New. Glory to God. On conversion, your sins become past events. There's a chorus which says, Jesus cast my record of sinfulness into the sea of forgetfulness, never to be remembered anymore. Let's bless the Lord for that. Yeah. 